My brother and his uh, fiance just got engaged. Oh, really? Yeah, well, I guess it would be oh. his boyfriend, but now it is his fiance. Yeah, so it's we, fiance. Tell him I said congrats. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Yay! Hey, Yay! welcome back to our stupid Rex. It's Eats of Corbin. <laughs> Love is in the air everywhere you look around. I'm Rick. And um, I have a mint in my mouth. I should probably take that out so it doesn't sound like I'm... I was going to say something really dirty. Uh, okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> Today we... Uh, 83... Just came out. Little known film. movie. We do, little known we're film. Doing a movie review. Uh, sorry, I didn't say that. Uh, a little unknown film uh, that just came out today called Eighty Three, uh, directed by Kabir Khan, and uh, starring uh, just a little unknown uh, future dost of ours named Ren Veer Song. Is that how you pronounce that song? Yeah, I believe that's correct. That's a technical term. And uh, uh, Deepika Paracon, a, a whole bunch of people, are our are, are actual dosed uh, Pankaj Trepati, uh, and a whole bunch of other people. Big ensemble piece, really, mm-hmm. uh, of this film. But it, obviously it's about the overall story of, uh, spoiler alert, India won the World Seer- World Cup in 1983. <laughs> in case nobody knew. Uh, <laughs> in case nobody knew. Uh, it's a uh, bi- uh, biography uh, drama uh, film. Um, so even though, I mean, I everybody, I guess, knows the ending of this film, but we're going to try to do mostly non-spoiler reviews just because it's, uh, it's a new film. Also, in case you're wondering, why are you on Skype? Um, I'm in Florida right now on the other side of the country from Rick because uh, it's Christmas time. And so I'm with family right now. And so that is why. This is, uh, we watched it separately uh, this time in case yeah. you are wondering. Um, but yeah, so we we're going to try to do mostly non spoiler reviews. Uh, maybe we'll get you some spoilers uh, at the end just because a new film that's going to be very, very popular uh, coming out. Um, so, Rick, your initial non spoiler thoughts, please. Initial non spoiler thoughts. Uh, I want to accentuate the things I liked about it, mm-hmm. but I was, trem- I was tremendously disappointed. Mm um yeah i just i guess i can synopsize it as that and then i can tell you i can tell you the things that i i was okay with but the majority of it was really disappointing for me Mm. yeah i maybe i was maybe i was expecting a little something different um as well it's clear they were going for a mass film in terms of like a big audience uh, feel as opposed to like, um, I don't know. Um, remember the Titans or, or, or even Bagmaka Bag if you go in India in terms of just right the style of sports movie that they were going for. There was definitely a I, one. I wish was, it had been Bagmaka Bag. Yeah, it was more of a appeal to the masses for sure. Of like, this is just it. It was I. I think I saw somebody describe it as this is more of a um, what word did they use um, love letter uh, really uh, to as opposed to like a film uh, like it was just like this is what this is kind of the bullet points of what happened and here's some um, uh, stuff that I'll, that'll make you feel and I would okay going in I, I will say I'm a, I was a little disappointed for sure. Uh, just like you were not as like disappointed as I was with push pushpa for sure. It's not, it's not that level disappointed for me. Um, because I think there were some stuff that was good in it. Um, but yeah, overall I was, I was hoping for, um, something a little different. I think, I think you were as well, uh, in, on, in, a, on a lot of levels, uh, in, in what the, the vibe that was going for. Cause it was, it was really um, I don't know the word to describe it. It was it was really just I, I have mass, a word. mass appeal. I guess it was just because it was just surface level for the most part, right? Yeah, the word for me. It, I mean, it had one gear and one pedal, and it slammed it to the floor, 
and that was melodrama. It was, yeah, a lot of melodrama. And I think only at a few points did that melodrama work for me um, in terms of like, I think the end point, I think that melodrama would have been fine for me if they would have ended on, you know, that big high melodrama. Um, you know, I, I get it, you know, India, you know, feeling the, we won the world cup pride in our country. I, I, I like that point of it. Uh, I thought that was good, but yeah, there was a bunch of points to where I agree. It was just a little too much melodrama for, 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 for my liking. Um, and maybe this just was a film that they were like, we're gearing to some mass Indian audiences and that's what we're going to do. But yeah, that's, you guys asked us for our, <laughs> our review of it and uh that's that's not we will typically never be our, dishonest that's our typical response to if you give a lot of melodrama um yep. I, I i totally agree but there were there were stuff that i i did enjoy in it um i i, I just i think the probably the biggest and maybe you can tell me if you agree the the thing that we're probably i think it was the filmmaking aspect of the overall because I, I think you could have taken the pieces of this with a, uh, I don't want to say better filmmaker, but maybe a, a, a different filmmaker, maybe, uh, of, of like a Zoya or a, um, a Farhan even, right? You know, he you know, with what he did, uh, can do. Uh, obviously, um, you know, how we feel about um, Anurag. Um, but like, it's just, I feel that you could have taken all the stuff that they filmed and given it to a different filmmaker, and I think it, I think it could have been a better film. I agree. Uh, my, um, like, I felt like everybody in the cast did the best they could with what they had. Mm. Um, I felt like I don't. I honestly, I'd be interested to know. I don't think they'd talk about it publicly, but I'd love to know what they know about this privately. I can't imagine that they're as artists fulfilled with the outcome. Um, uh, I, I, I just, um, I felt like the cast did the best they could with what they had to do. And that there's no way one of the barometers that we don't have to measure by is we don't know the, the people that they were portraying to see if they were replicating them the right way. No. Like if we watch, if we watch somebody playing and you name a number of characters from biopics that we can go, okay, the most recent being, uh, what Gary Oldman did in The Darkest Hour, we can measure that. We, we've seen that person. We know how that person spoke and behaved. We yeah. don't know if they, if the actors you nailed know, that. In fact, I had I was watching it with Indrani, and I said, Does, is, is Ranveer, how is he doing with the Punjabi to make it sound like? And she said, I, he's doing a very good job with making it sound like uh, Kapil Dev and uh, as far as that's concerned. But some of the things that just on the directing side of things and the filmmaking side of things, aside from the melodrama, were things like bad wigs on virtually everybody. Um, the, the use of that kid, if I, I just, I couldn't, I, I called it. I, I, I said to Indrani, I said, I know how this movie's going to end. The movie's going to end with the kid on a guy's shoulders, waving the Indian flag. Um, and that, that throwing the bone to the lowest common denominator, just to get kind of an appeal with the melodramatic manipulations is, just, I, I just, I can't stomach it. It's really, really hard for me. That's my biggest disappointment with with the film is that aspect of it and i the the cricket segments as far as the believability of the sport it looked believable again we don't know what to compare it to other than the highlights and stuff that yeah i thought i thought they did i thought in terms of the cricket playing i thought that was good it was just it was it looked like they were actually it looked they knew good what they it were looked doing believable to me they totally knew uh the, like i said i think the biggest issue with this is that this kabir khan um this is just the style he decided he wanted to go with for, for his film was a very melodramatic, I guess patriotic would be another word, right? Um, that, that it comes a lot in Indian films. Um, and it's just, uh, the, I, maybe I just, I, I, I wanted something different and, and that might be, that might be my oh, fault. Yeah. Cause I've, I, I've actually, ex I know a bunch of people that I've talked to already that love this film. So it's very possible that that it just this appeals to the Indian audience, and it's just to us who aren't avid cricket fans, who are don't know the story back and forth, who aren't in, we're not Indian, obviously, um, and so it's maybe this just yeah. didn't uh, appeal to us as much. 
Um, and I don't want to make this sound like that. Yeah, I, I think you're being I, generous. I, yeah, I, but I also don't want to seem like I hate it. I did not hate this film. I didn't like it, like the way I really didn't like Bush by and was super super disappointed. And I w- I'm, not, I'm not saying I wasn't disappointed in this either. I was disappointed in this. Um, but because there were moments that I I, I thought, uh, <laughs> what are you doing? My father is right behind me, sticking his head out. Um, but there were there were moments in this that I, I, I did really, really enjoy. I'm going to punch you. <laughs> so hard in the face. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, like, Ranveer, I thought, did a good job. And uh, I, I feel like I didn't see Ranveer almost uh, at all. I wish he had a better script uh, to do all of that hard work that I feel like he did with. Um, and because um, I feel like I didn't see Ranveer very much at all um, as Ranveer, the person that I, that we now know. Right. I, I, I wish he had like on your Akashiab dialogue of just how, how natural it could have been. Right. Um, and, and stuff yeah, that was I, much I, less number of, melodramatic another aspect that yeah. i really enjoyed was uh maybe it just goes without saying i enjoyed pankaj i i don't think i i think the guy is I, I think he can do anything with if you give him a pile of dog shit i think he could do something with it yeah <laughs> and i good. think <laughs> that's a good that's a good analogy i think you, he could literally do anything with anything I think he is that yeah. good, and he and he had moments that I was like, "I that's Pankaj. I love Pankaj. I think, and I'm sure I um I don't know the obviously the person he was portraying. Once again, I think uh, he probably did a good job at portraying who that was. Um, it's just uh, the biggest downgrade to this film is filmmaking for me. It's the filmmaking, and it doesn't bode well for future Salman Khan films we see because this director has is known for two very popular Salman Khan films. And if they're, if this is any kind of a signal is the kind of movie making he makes. Well, we've uh, seen his, that, the, the Pakistani girl, that's, that's his film. Are you sure about that? Yeah. The, uh, uh, Baji, Baji, what is it called? Baj, um, Bajaraji Bajan, the one with the Pakistani girl in the was, that's his film. Mm-hmm. That's him. Whew. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because it was it, it. I I was um, yeah. It's the it, it was the it was the the script and the the filmmaking and the use of melodrama to the point where I got a, I I was very bothered by it and the uh, um, I I came I I I left the theater the way I walked in. I don't know much more about any of those players uh, other than they liked basic you know uh, grade school humor. Uh, one of them, his fiance called off his, uh, wedding, but I don't feel like I got to know why they love cricket, why they play for cricket other than everything they do is to, to bleed for India. It just, it, it didn't feel like a human biopic. It just felt like a highlight reel to kind of give you for a lot of people who didn't get to see it. And even those, especially who no one got to see it, like the record breaking game for a couple dev, no one except who was present at the game got to see it. So now you've got to see a reenactment of it. But other than that, it just, it was really for me because I had such high expectations for this to be good. Mm. Um, it was, it was equally disappointing, you know, and we, and we root for Ren here, but it's like, it's like any great, I really feel like for this, the way I do about anybody who I, is a great athlete, and you go to watch them play and you're, you're just like, you bought tickets to the game and you're going to watch them play and they go oh for four at the plate and they get the, you know, the crap beat out of them. You're like, oh, they just didn't have a good game. Everybody in this, I just feel like they didn't have a good game. And the primary culprit, I believe, is is the filmmaking. Yeah. I don't know that I agree with the, the acting aspect of that. I don't know if they had a bad game. I think a lot of actually the actors I thought did well. It's just... Um, the some of the, the the dialogue writing was very i don't even know the word for it um surface level i guess comes to mind um amateur almost sometimes in terms of some of the dialogue i guess would come to mind as well maybe 
Maybe that's how they. Maybe that's how they and talked. But it we also haven't said just this. Seem... We haven't. We haven't said this, but we got to say it. When the hell are you going to hire actors who can act that have oh. Caucasian complexions? Oh, Good yeah, freaking grief, man! This just uh, obviously <laughs> they whatever, were awful uniformly. Whatever, whatever Sardar Udan did to help the white actors, this brought it right back down. They were pretty bad in this one. They were just—it's <laughs> mind-boggling that it's acceptable. Yeah. It's just mind-boggling to me. Yeah, I think honestly, I think you could give this film to literally how it's shot right now to a different filmmaker on the editing floor, and I think they could probably make a better film. I think the I, piece, I need to change the script. I even think that yeah, I even though I agree, I even think you don't need to do that much to make it a better film. I think if you take out a bunch of the melodrama and also you could probably have taken out, you know, at least 25 minutes of this film. Um, a, 25 minutes of crowd reaction. And like, yeah. I didn't need to see, I knew it was going to happen. The minute the soldiers showed up at the old man's door. Oh, sorry. We're getting into spoilers now, everybody. Yeah. So we'll, we're sorry. talking a little bit about actual scenes in the thing. So if you're, if you don't want to be spoiled, go see it and come back. Cause I'm going to talk about a scene in the film right now. Yeah. Um, when those shoulder, when those soldiers knocked on the door and, and that older gentleman answered the door, I, I turned to Indrani and I said, I, I'll, I guarantee they're going to sit with them and watch the game. Yeah, it definitely took 100% of all these sports stereo tropes and just... Yeah, just, tropes. That's a great word. And just kind of added on to it. Um, yeah, and may, maybe we just had too high of expectations for the film. Um, but I mean, I guess it, it's 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 Renvier, and it's a film that we had been looking for since I think before the pandemic. I think uh, true. Hit, uh, true. that that we had been looking. For. It's hard to not have high expectations for something like that. It, it that's true, um, but I think even as a standalone for anyone who didn't have high expectations, I mean, Andrani didn't have high expectations for this, and she feels exactly the same way I do. Mm. And I'll tell you. People may not like this comparison, but I'm going to give it. I don't think there's been a movie on the planet that's had higher expectations than Endgame, and it surpassed everything anybody anticipated by a thousand light years. Mm. So just because you have high expectations for something, it doesn't always mean, you know, it should, for the amount of promoting they did, it should have lived up to it. Yeah. Um, and I thought some of the songs were nice. Um, nothing was outside of... I thought, like I said, I think the last scene, if that was the melodrama, that was the film, like in terms of like, you know, the big build up, and I would have understood all that. And I was like, okay, that hit too. A good, I think that the end scene hit good points uh, on, on like making you feel this is the end. Yeah, well, you know, we're all feeling a collective yeah, that's where pride. Wrong. Yeah. Uh, and I, I, so I thought that that ended well. And the song that went along with that went well. The other ones, I was like, okay, these are nice songs, um, whatever, and nothing memorable in terms of the score for sure in this film. Not, not that I'm like adding to the playlist or that I, I will probably remember in a few months. Um, but uh, I thought all the I thought the supporting cast uh, did all well. It's just it does same things that we've mentioned before. That I think they could have been helped in their portrayal because like Bunty from Sacred Games, I thought he did well. I thought a couple of the other, you know, cricket players did well um, in what they did. But, you know, I thought they could have been helped in better dialogue writing and better filmmaking and editing together, you know. Um, but I think yeah. the, 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 probably the performances were probably the strongest aspect of the film for me. Um, yeah, I would, I would say if someone were to ask me that, what do you say is the, is the strongest thing? It's, it's without question. I feel like all of the actors did their utmost that they could with what they had. Yeah. Um, I, yeah. I just, it's just disappointing when I think they could have been great performances given to a great editor, director, writer, um, all of that. Um, and that's, yeah. that's the disappointment because I wanted to put this film in one of the best conversations oh. of the year. That's what, that was my expectation of for course, the film. Me uh, too. Me too. I, I was expecting this to it to be, be one of the best films of the year. Me too. I'm very, uh, that's why, um, you know, I'm, it's the level, the disappointment's high. Cause I was really rooting for everybody in this to, to, and, for this to be. 
I would have. I think I would give this film a C. I think. Yeah, yeah I. Think I, I well, because I'm not going to give it an F. I, 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 I do not believe this film is an F. No, 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 no. It would be very rare for me to give something an F. It would have to be just overtly horrific. Um, I, I, I would give this a D plus. It's D+. just really, really low on the rating scale for me. It just doesn't hit. Forget elevative artistry. It just doesn't hit cinematic artistry for me, except the performances the actors try to give with what little they're offered in terms of script and filmmaking. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that's the review. Um, and no. uh, sorry, guys. You can let us know uh, what you thought about the film uh, down below, why we're morons, or uh, what you thought about it as well. Uh, Ranveer, we love you so much. I'm sure you're probably not still watching. Dude. But uh, <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't your fault. Let me tell you. Uh, and Pankaj Dost, I love you uh, so much. I think you're such a wonderful human. He, I just say this last part about him. He can make me smile just by being on screen. Pankaj, so he he gives he gives you the the same thing that Priyanka gives me, which is if if Pankaj is happy, everybody's happy. Oh. I don't even need Punk. I should be happy, but that's just a bonus. <laughs> I just need, he has such an endearing quality to him. I just, I just, he I does. just, I just, I just love him. I, he, I can't, yeah. I can't not, but like, even when he's like a murderer, I'm just like, <laughs> I love this guy. He's great. <laughs> Anyways, let us know what you thought about the film down below. And, um, actually, I would say what, what we should watch, but there's a couple new films coming up. Hopefully, sadly, a bunch of the new films have disappointed us lately. Hopefully, the next one is true. Well, there will not. Did you have a Jersey trailer? Did you have a Jersey trailer in the film? We we had a Jersey trailer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, on to that one, and there's also that superhero uh, Malayalam one as well uh, that is dropping, yeah. I believe, on Christmas as well. So that's right. Let us know what you thought about the film down below. 